No, 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 no. Nope. This week we'll be discussing Stan Lee, the new Spider-Man comic, and DC releases. This and more on the Weekly Comic News Show. It's okay. It's all right. I'm here now. It's with a heavy heart that we report the passing of James Galton, the former CEO of Marvel Entertainment Group, last week at the age of 92. Bringing Marvel from borderline bankruptcy in 1975 to the beginnings of its legacy in 1991, Galton was considered a hero for his leadership of the company. We send our condolences to Galton's family, friends, and comic fans for their loss. Marvel cancels yet another Black Panther series after only six issues. The cancellation of Black Panther World of Wakanda was made public last week by former series writer Roxanne Gay on her Twitter page. The series was applauded for being the first Marvel comic book helmed by black women creators. Stan Lee will be honored in Los Angeles on August 22nd with a special event called Extraordinary Stan Lee. The event will take place at LA Saban Theater. It will feature Lee and celebrity guests who will be there to give thanks to the comic book legend and discuss his extraordinary life. Another DC Looney Tunes crossover comic. This week we've got Lobo Roadrunner Special Number 1. The story by Mill Morrison features Wiley E. Coyote journeying through outer space to hire Lobo to kill the Roadrunner for him. Why use Acme Dynamite when you have Lobo? The chase is on this Wednesday. This week, DC will release extra size anniversary issues of its popular titles. Issues number 25 of Green Arrow and Aquaman will introduce new storylines, while Superman number 25 will conclude its Black Dawn storyline with the reveal of its main villain. The Dark Knight also shares a spotlight with Batman number 25. The newly anticipated storyline, The War of Jokes and Riddles, unleashes a never before seen story of Batman's greatest failure. Sorry, Bruce. Do you like stories of sci fi tech gone awry? No, I'm not talking about iRobot. I'm talking about weapons of mutant destruction. When the Weapon X program emerges after a strange disappearance, it's got a new insidious mission, eradicate all mutants. Who will live? Who will be hunted? Find out when WMD number one hits shelves June 21st. The OG wall crawler is back. Peter Parker returns to his stomping grounds in Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man number one. Or is it swinging grounds? Whatever. The important thing is that Parker's back with some back-to-basic heroics, web-slinging action, and the notorious Parker luck. This week sees the release of the first of five issues of Image's Shirtless Bear Fighter, written by Jody LaHoop and Sebastian Gertner. When Shirtless is betrayed by the bears who raised him, his flapjack-fueled rampage begins. However, when bears begin to attack Major City, Shirtless must pull it together to protect the humans from this furry onslaught. Packed with humor, heart, and a whole lot of bear punching, this series is not to be missed. What happens when a Chicago hitman and a Seattle housewife switch bodies? You will have to check out Crosswind Number 1 to find out on June 21st. Image's newest series has been described as a crossover between Freaky Friday and Goodfellas. It also features an all-female creative team comprised of writer Gail Simone and artist Kat Staggs. The plot for the upcoming manga series Final Fantasy Lost Stranger has been revealed, and we're excited about this premise. The story follows an employee of Square Enix, the company that makes the franchise, who dies and is reincarnated into the Final Fantasy world. You can grab a copy of its debut July 12th in Square Enix's manga magazine, Shonen Gangan. Keep an eye out for progression and body positivity next month in monthly manga Life Original. A new serialization titled Miss Plump features a young woman named Hanako Fukuoka, who is what Japan would consider full-figured. The rise of marshmallow idols and curvy women being celebrated in Japan is a good step in the inclusion of body types and acceptance. This week's shout-out goes to the team behind the upcoming comic, Codename Vox. The main character of the comic has the power to control sound. She'll top the charts, but she'll also have to chase after a killer. Check out the Facebook page at Codename Vox for more character sketches and info. This week's staff pick is a Marvel comic series from 2003 titled The Crew. Written by Christopher Priest, the series featured four men from diverse ethnic and racial backgrounds who initially find themselves inspired to a collective higher cause. Check out this beautifully drawn series, which was sadly canceled after seven issues. Let us know what you think of our picks and what your faves are. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw here, like and subscribe to the channel, and check out comicsverse.com to find podcasts, reviews, interviews, and videos on everything from comics to movies to television to politics. This week's question is, the trend of 25th issues this week, we want to know what's your favorite milestone comic issue. Let us know in the comments, and we'll feature them in next week's episode. 
I'm Lindsay. And I'm Kay. And thanks for watching the weekly comics news show. Pew, pew.